We have continuing coverage tonight of this huge house fire that lit up the sky in Puerto Rancis early Sunday morning. Thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Katia Uriarte. Fire crews battled that inferno for hours yesterday. It happened on the 3700 block of Pelican Point in Puerto Rancis. And we have team coverage on this fire. We begin tonight with Patrick Johnstone and Patrick scene looks so much different from Sunday. What's the latest information that you've learned? Well, Katia, we learned that there's an investigation ongoing into the cause of the fire. I spoke with the lead investigator who said the cause is currently undetermined, but no foul play is, is expected. Now, this is video shot by Nueces County ESD number two. They were the third crew on scene. The Port Arantes FD originally got the call around 4.30 a.m. for smoke in the attic. Crews were able to get the fire out in a few hours. There were people home when the fire started, but no one was injured in the blaze. And now if you look behind me, you see the, the canal right there. The house is right off the water. So crews actually with limited fire hydrants around, crews had to take water out of that canal and pump it to help fight the fire. Now, this fire has been the talk of the neighborhood today. And our Andy Lascano spoke with some of the neighbors about what they saw, and he joins us now with more. Thanks, Pat. You know, people are still driving by the house here on Pelican Point that was on fire early Sunday morning. The video that you should see now was taken by a neighbor who lives, oh, maybe 100 yards away from this house that was on fire. Firefighters from seven different departments responded. Now, we spoke with some of the neighbors in this mostly retirement community. One is a lady who lives next door to the house that caught fire, then a young man who lives across the street some neighbors were outside and I went over and chatted with them and there was a fire going smoke but it was just it looked like it could be easily contained at the time um, I was I told to evacuate my house um, so I just stayed over there in the cul-de-sac police came knocking on our door at 5 a.m. Um, I just looked over and the whole, like the whole roof of the house was ablaze, and uh, the roof fell in on the house too. And it's just a really unfortunate circumstance. One neighbor we spoke to, who's lived here many years, says this neighborhood has never experienced something like this. We're live in Port Aransas. Andy Lascano, Chris Six News.